Hello, welcome back to our channel. So I first start off with cleaning my skin with a lotion wipe to remove all the makeup because I will be working with some latex. Uh, this look is called Contagious, by the way. It's a virus-inspired look. And I will be using latex on my forehead, on my cheek, and on my nose. And I will be using a little syringe and some liquid latex to make some nice little zits or boils. Um, if I can open the bottle. <laughs> <clears throat> I fill up the syringe and put it aside for later on. I first layer some latex on my forehead and on my nose and on my cheek and then when it's dry I will break it up with my finger so you have a nice uneven skin like this and then <laughs> and then I will be using the syringe um, when I'm making all these little zits I will tell you a bit more about this look. Um, I'll be using latex, of course, and I use a temporary tattoo effects. It's a relatively easy look, but it takes some time to build up. I used the syringe technique from one of my favorite Instagrammers, Rolly Gore. She's a really amazing artist. Go have a look on her Instagram. Um, I'm always fascinated by viruses. They're creepy mysterious and dangerous and they spread by air human fluids like blood saliva and even animal bites in my version it's a nasty virus caught by a sneeze and you know it starts off with flu-like symptoms then within 48 hours you get redness of skin pimples rabies like symptoms hello dog it's a dog of my neighbors <laughs> Sorry. Um, I use a blow dryer to speed up the drying process. And I set it with uh, the Maron setting powder and a big fluffy brush. Um, let's back, get back to my story. Um, shortly said, when you get this virus, you look crazy and you have an unhealthy taste for human flesh. Is there a cure, I hear you ask? Well... That still has to be developed. And of course, this is totally crazy fictional storyline. So it's just my imagination going wild. <clears throat> Let's get back to the tattoo effects. It's really simply simple. Sorry, you cut up the pieces you want and you will be using water. And I hear a strange noise. <laughs> And I'm going to see where I want to put uh, the temporary tattoo. Peel off the plastic. Otherwise it doesn't stick. So let me... Is it the right position? Yeah, it is. So I take some water and put it into a little a bowl. And I use a cotton pad to soak it. I just dab it onto the tattoo. So it's fully soaked and I wait a little and then I peel back the paper. It's a bit too much in my hairline, but that's okay. I'll make it work. Oh, a little hair. Need to remove that. Like so. And then I do the same thing on my cheek. Completely drench it into or soak it, whatever you want to call it. And you know when it's ready, it will loosen by itself. See, there we go. Just a tiny bit more. And I seal it with my wet cotton bud. Like that. And then I do some more off camera, like this. So it looks pretty cool already, but I still need to do some more veining. So I take my 
a blood palette from Encore and a fine brush and I will make some more veins using blues and purples. Just squiggle your brush like this. The fans, I got two fans now on my you know, um, it it was again really warm weather here, and I had two fans blowing full steam in my full steam, uh, full power in my face. <laughs> so, otherwise, I'll go crazy. It's so hot. <clears throat> Some more raining behind the ear. Like it already. Then again, I take my blood palette and the De Resurrected Dead palette from Dashbow, a sponge, a few different sizes of brushes. Okay, freeze frame. I don't know what happened here. Okay, continue. So I take the sponge first and make some irritation on the skin using diluted reds. Just wiggle it around and build up the color. <laughs> the fumes from the alcohol is like make your eyes teary, but it's okay. So then I take my fine brush and I take some yellow to make these little pimples stand out a bit more and of course I will be using reds around it and make some open wounds randomly just building it up till it's nice and grows pimple by pimple <laughs> Take the sponge again, and there's a car driving by. <clears throat> Ooh, already looks kind of cute. Maybe let's zoom in a little bit. Ew. Zoom back out. Okay, then I take my fluffy eyeshadow brush and my eyeshadow palette from Meron and make my eyes a bit more sunken in by using various colors of browns little bit of red again just building it up till I'm happy with it like that then I have a makeup pass that I put in a different kind of bottle so it's easier to work with and then of course my mold life aged blood and I had some blood gel for makeup lying around as well that I use a tiny bit off but I didn't show that on camera I'm sorry I take a brush and take little bits and bobs of pus and place it into random areas to make it nice and gore I'm not using too much pus and I dabbed on some blood gel as you can see and now I'm using a little bit of eyeshadow and a fine brush to create some darkness around the mouth area and nose area and um, I've got some white teeth um, with this look no so I'm gonna use some makeup to stain rotten shake well before using it and I take a tissue dry my teeth and then I will be using the, the tooth stain and a little brush to apply it onto my pearly whites to make a nice nasty look and don't worry about this product you can remove it very easily with your toothbrush. So, 
like that. Nice and rotten. I do the same thing on the bottom half of my teeth. Looks funny. <laughs> And I do teeth by teeth. Smile. Okay, now it's time for my lenses. Um, of course not. <laughs> I skipped a step. Sorry. I will be using some blood, the aged blood of my uh, of mold life, of course. And I will layer some blood into the little open wounds that I've created. Mix it in with a bit of pus. Just on random spot, not too much blood. Like that. Ooh. Then I take a stipple sponge and move and smudge in the blood. And uh, um, I didn't like working with a stipple sponge, so I quickly take a lotion wipe. It gives a nicer effect. And just smudge it wherever I want it to be. On my neck, on my cheek a little bit. And again, freeze frame. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. Whoops. Let's continue. Some more smudging. Am I happy with it? Yes, and I'm gonna pop in some lenses. I uh, like these. Got really teary eyes because of uh, the dry air, and I realized I got a bug in my hair. Didn't see that one. <laughs> um, I mess up my hair a little bit, and I really got a full. I got a full blast of, of cold air, so my eyes really started to tear up. I was literally crying. But you know what? It will look, it will fit this look, you know? When you get a virus like this, you want to cry before you completely go mad. So this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.